Good morning. I hope it's a delightful Monday morning for you. I'm glad to be with you. Going to spend some time talking to you about you and your business. Hope you had a great weekend as well. And I'm going to get straight to it uh, with Mark Krasing with the Krasing Law Firm. He's a regular contributor here on the price of business. And uh, we're going to talk uh, a little bit about contracts and about uh, specific specific incidents that uh, happened in contract uh, relations, and uh, I've been looking forward to this as always. Mark, welcome to the program. How are you today? Doing well, Kevin. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Crashley Law Firm before you uh, tee up our subject today. Sure. I was a litigator for about eight years, and most of my clients got involved with our law firm when they had a problem. And then most of them would say, gosh, I wish I didn't get into this. What could I have done differently? And so we fashioned a new model when I opened my own law firm where we do more preventative uh, maintenance, I guess we can call it, where we become part of the management team and help a client, you know, guide them through the business process, giving them the legal advice they need so as to avoid those lawsuits. I would say 90% of my practice is just, you know, consulting or acting like that in-house counsel like the big companies have so that the client doesn't get involved as often, at least, for, in lawsuits, because obviously we all know those are expensive. Yeah, very good, very good. And so uh, prior preparation certainly does prevent poor performance. Right. So tell me a little bit uh, of, uh, you know, it sounds like, in our, in our, you know, I've known you now for years. Sadly, more, more, um, more often than not, um, you find yourself, or not necessarily more often, but a lot of the cases, you find yourself mitigating when you would have preferred to have uh, had them prepared on the front end. What happens to where people finally begin to realize, you know what, these contracts are important? Well, let me give you a good example of what usually happens. A client knows how to do a service. They know how to make a widget, and so they get involved in the business. They have two or three customers or vendors and their friends or something. They have a handshake and a smile deal. Things go fine for probably several years, and it works out great. Everybody's making money. We're all happy. What typically happens is, boom, there's a problem. Something happened with a widget. Something happened with that service. The end-user customer gets mad, wants to start pointing fingers and or suing people, and then I get involved, and I say, show me the document. Show me the contract that you have with your customer, you have with your subcontractor, you have with that end user. And I would say 30 to 40% of the time, the client doesn't have a written contract, which is not the end of the world, or they have a contract which, in my opinion, doesn't cover everything that's needed. And one thing that's needed, especially in, or two things that are needed in a contract especially are indemnity terms and certificates of insurance and or insurance requirements. So going back to the example, if something happens at the end, the end user has an issue, they want to go pointing fingers, I want to be able to refer to a contract that says, hey, we subbed that work out to this company. This company has agreed to accept responsibility you know, you've seen that language, I'm sure, in contracts that say you indemnify us for negligence, and it's a lot of other legal jargon, but in, in essence it says you cover this. And there's yeah. a contract term in there that says here are my insurance requirements, and you're going to make me, the original contracting party who hired you, an additional insured under your policy so that that insurance company picks up the bill. Interesting, interesting. Talking to Mark Krasny, talking about, uh, you know, being able to focus on your business because you took care of yourself on the front end. Uh, um, so, when you know, in, in one of these typical scenarios, uh, uh, you know, how often do the times you get involved on situations when it's really too late versus business owners just knowing on the front end it's time to make a contract? And, and how easy is it to boilerplate a lot of these contracts? Well, my firm has been around now in its present model for almost 10 years. So I'm seeing it less and less, but it's a lot of the new clients who hear me either from your radio show or find me online. And the clients I have now, they're not in that problem because they have written agreements. And those are in place and they're comfortable. And for the most part, they're avoiding lawsuits. Or if there are lawsuits, they can pass them on or tender to the other party to get a defense. It's the newer clients who... Obviously, with a good economy, they want to go out and start their own business, and they get started because they want to make some money, which I totally get. But I always say everyone who starts a new business needs a good 
lawyer for some good advice, and it, it doesn't have to be expensive, and a good CPA just to make sure the financial stuff is discussed and reviewed, and there's a real strategy. So it still does happen. Yeah, very interesting. Been talking to Mark Krasny. He's with the Krasny Law Firm. Always enjoy our, our chats together. Uh, how do we learn more about you? Yeah, you bet. It's krasnylawfirm.com. You can call my office. We do things on a flat fee. You know, we're more that outside consultant company, and we are, I'd like to say, a non-traditional law firm. Yeah, absolutely. Krasny, K-R-A-S-N-E-Y, lawfirm.com. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. When we come back much more for you, do you want to remind you, best content here is just over there at usdailyreview.com, and this is The Price of Business. <laughs> 